this is a help video for you to learn a piece called Station to Station. It's in this book, The Real Guitar Book, Volume 3, and it's on page 12. This is one of the current Grade 3 Trinity classical guitar pieces, and it uses a few techniques which may be new or unfamiliar to you. The first of these techniques is what we call a half bar. When you see on the music either half C with a Roman numeral or half B with a Roman numeral, that means a half bar. Both C and B stand for the same thing, they're just different languages. If it didn't have the half with it, then it would mean a full bar which is putting one finger across all of the strings. A half bar is when you put one finger across some of the strings. Sometimes it's two, sometimes it's four, most of the time it's three. With your left hand, when you're playing a bar, a full bar or a half bar, you'll mostly use your first finger for this. Very occasionally we might bar a couple of strings with a little finger, but most of the time it is with the first finger. You need to make sure that your finger is pressing down all of the strings and not leaning up like that, and that it's kind of parallel with the fret and quite close to it to get the best sound. For this piece, you're going to need to play three strings at the same time. And you'll need to put finger three on string one, finger two on string two, finger one on string three, and just gently draw them back twice in a row because that's how it goes in this piece. The other thing that you may notice with this piece is that there are three sharps in the key signature. That's F sharp, C sharp, G sharp. Don't take too much notice of that because very often in this piece, the sharps are naturalised in the bars and very often when you've got the half bar you only really need to look at the top note, that one there is an F sharp and it tells you fret 2 anyway, so it's a half bar at fret 2. We're going to divide this piece into two sections, first three lines are section A and the second half section B. So let's start with the first bar. The half bar that you'll be playing is on fret 2 and then it goes to a set of open strings. The same open strings, strings 1, 2, 3 both times. So it will sound like this. Just practice that until you can get it clean even with all of the notes sounding together. When you can do that, add the bass note. In this case it's string 5, like that. When you can do that, you're ready to add the last note of the bar on. It's a G natural, so it will go. Bar 2 is very much the same thing, except the last note is different. In this case, it's a C-sharp, so it will go. When you're happy with those two bars, stick them together. And it should sound nice and easy and lazy. That's the effect that you're going for. It's worth spending a bit of time getting that pattern right, making sure that the notes are nice and even, that you can hear all of the notes when you play them as a half bar, because that pattern turns up a lot in this piece. If you look at bars three and four, they are exactly the same as bars one and two. So we'll do the first line all the way through, one, two, three, Four. At the 
beginning of line two, in bar five, the half bars change. You're going to have fret seven and then fret five. It's quite a quick transition between the two. Just practice that until you can get that nice and clean and sounding just as good as fret two and the open strings. When you're happy with that, add the bass note to it. It's an open D. And when you're happy with that, the last note in the bar is a fret eight high C. So. On bar six, it's the same pair of half bars there. It doesn't necessarily say that on the music because it said it already for the previous bar. Often they don't put the fingering in twice. The last note of the bar, however, is a different note. It's played on string two, fret seven. It's an F sharp. It's the same F sharp as you'd get it if you played it there. But it's easier to play it there once you've played that fret seven, fret five thing. So we'll play those two bars together. One, two, three, four. Bars seven and eight are the same as the first two bars. So we'll play the first two lines all the way through. One, two, three, four. nine and ten you've got two different half bars fret nine and fret seven the fret seven one doesn't say it's fret seven because you've already had that in this piece and it assumes you're going to look back and find it out so on bar nine your half bars will go like that and the bass note is string six The last note on bar nine is a harmonic. You've probably come across harmonics before and this is one that you have, you will have played if you've done harmonics before. It's string one, fret 12, and you put your finger lightly on the string above the fret. Not to the side, because it won't come out too well there, but above the fret, fret 12, string one, and you can take your finger off when you've played it. So, bar nine will go like that. Bar 10 goes back to fret seven, followed by fret five with an open D in the bass. So the half bars will go. The new thing is the harmonic that you get at the end there is a fret seven harmonic. And if you look at it, it's got a three in a circle. That means fret seven, string three. And that's the note you get there. So bar 10 will go. And if we play bars nine and 10, they'll sound like this. One, two, three, four. At the ending of section A, you have some bass notes, A, C sharp, D, D sharp, and the string six E. Don't forget the C sharp, it is fret four on string five. And the last chord, E, C sharp, G sharp. We can't play that as a half bar because that would give you an F 
and spoil the E. So we need bars 11 and 12 to go. So we're going to play section A all the way through. When you're doing this, when you're doing especially the high frets, you're going to need to look at the frets. You can't really do it without looking at which frets you've got there. And the harmonics the same. Look at your left hand to make sure it's going in the right place. You might find that uh, you've got little dots on the neck of your guitar just there. If you haven't, then I would recommend that you put stickers at fret five and fret seven, possibly fret nine as well. Or nail varnish also works very well. So here we go, the first section. One, two, three, four. When you're playing section B, it's almost exactly the same as section A. There are just a few key little differences between the two. The first of them, you'll find in bar 14 and 16, the last note is converted to a pair of quavers. So you can play with two different fingers or you can put that bar back down. So bar 14 and 16, We'll go like this, like that. The harmonics are also different and you'll find these in bars 21 and 22. The last harmonic in bar 21 is now on string 5, fret 7. Make sure you can make that one work. And the last harmonic in bar 22 is string four, fret 12. You'll probably find the fret 12 ones work more easily than the fret seven ones. Just make sure that fret seven harmonics are really, really accurately above the fret. So bars 21 and 22 go like this. One, two, three, four. run at the end is extended a little so it will go like this you've got those few extra notes like that and you can play it all with your thumb even the third string A the very last chord is different string 1 fret 7 string 2 fret 7 string 3 fret 6 so again, you can't do it as a half bar. I'm inclined always to strum that last chord. It just makes it sound nice. So here's the whole piece, station to station. Two, three, four. 